Hey guys, this is Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivalist. Trying to explain why is it that you need assault rifles. Uh, yes, it is true that what they call assault rifles is actually a semi-automatic version of, uh, of true assault rifles. Uh, a, a real assault rifle would be fully automatic, has the capacity of keep firing on its own once you keep the trigger pulled back. Uh, what you see these days, the AR-15 is actually semi-automatic, which each trigger pull fires just one round, so it's not really uh, an assault weapon. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, why is it that you need not only semi-automatic uh, carbines and rifles, but you actually need true assault weapons, which are extremely restricted already in US thanks to the anti-gun lobbies. The reason for that is, unfortunately, not that well explained many times. I'm seeing it even uh, in pro-gun uh, people trying to explain things in the news in the media. I, I was watching um, a nice lady in Fox Channel. She was uh, shooting her AR-15 and explaining that she used it for sport. And she explained that yes, it was a typical AR-15 with the optics and all, you know, all the things that you, you see. But she was making the case of it being a firearm used for sport. You know, for, used for action shooting. That same AR-15 that is so similar to the M16 uh, real uh, automatic weapon. Why is it that uh, there's a problem here? Well, again, if you fail to explain things properly, if you fail to explain the difference between I just want something just because, or I truly need this, or this is truly needed if you want to follow the Constitution, if you fail to explain those points properly, you will have uh, problems further on when they try to take those rights away from you. Now, do you need assault rifles? Well, again, they are semi-automatic, but you know what I mean. Do you need uh, assault rifles for uh, hunting? Well, no, because yeah, with four or five rounds um, for most uh, hunting activities, that is more than enough. Uh, would you need it for is for sport, for action shooting, where you actually have a, a cases in which you, you fire more rounds and such? Well, yeah, but you could make a, ca a case against that, playing against devil's advocate, we could say, well, maybe you should uh, change your sport a little bit so that you use 10 rounds if, instead of 30-round magazines. You know, if it's just a sport, if it's just a hobby of yours, you know, then we're talking about firearms, weapons that can be used to kill people, and you're talking about a hobby, then you, maybe you don't have that much of a right. So you're failing to explain properly why is it that you truly need it and you truly need it based on the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment says that it's for securing, uh, for the security of a free state. The Second Amendment is clearly stating that it's what you would be used so as to fight a tyrannic government. It's not talking about hunting, it's not talking about sh target shooting or uh, action shooting, it's talking about securing a free state. It's talking about fighting a war against people that are trying to take away your rights. So in the true spirit of the Second Amendment, the kind of firearms that should be available to the population are the exact same firearms that should be available and are being used at that time in history by soldiers and troops of that same country. You see where I'm going with this. If you allow the Second Amendment to be changed based on hunting, on sporting, or whatever, then you will end up with something that has basically no uh, use for fighting. And the Second Amendment is about just that. It's about fighting. It's not about duck hunting or deer hunting. It's about fighting for the security of a free state. So if um, M16s are used right now, when in the true spirit of the Second Amendment, M16s should be available to uh, everyone in US. Which, by the way, they are not because the anti-gun lobby has been successful at restricting fully automatic weapons and they are extremely hard to get. So, the assault weapons that are legal already in some ways are very much restricted to a very small number of people that have to pay a lot of money to them and in spite of being legal they're not being used in these mass shootings that concern everyone so much. If one day comes when uh, soldiers are armed with laser guns, those same laser guns used by soldiers and troops of the country should be available 
to the population as well in the true spirit of the Second Amendment because that's what it's about. It's about the people having the, the tools to one day, if it ever needs, if it, never, if it ever comes to that fight against their own government that has become a tyrannic dictatorship. Folks, that's basically it. Try to learn to explain things properly. Don't confuse things with sports and hunting and, you know, because it's really not about that and you should be able to explain things correctly. Have a great day. Take care. Remember to subscribe. See you on our next video.